This next comedian has a new album called Uncomfortable. Give it up for the comedy of Mr. Mac McLaurin. I was having a bad day earlier. Uh, let me ask you guys a question. Is it a bad sign when you wake up in the morning contemplating suicide yes. and your horoscope tells you your new idea is solid? Yes. Is that? Yes. I, uh, I'm 32, I don't have any kids. I like kids, I just don't like how people my age, they give their kids last names for first names. Yeah. I have a th friend who had three kids, she named them McKenna, Hunter, and Finley. So, yeah, it, those aren't babies, that's a law firm. That's... <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Not married, I don't like weddings. Uh... I was at that store Yankee Candle the other day where they sell the scented candles like Clean Cotton and Autumn Breeze. Like, then when they're called Wedding Day. Yeah. If you want to smell a wedding day, don't buy a candle. Yeah, light 25 grand on fire. Then watch your cousin throw up on it. That smells like that's what I've been a part of. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm just bitter though, because I'm not married. Uh, I feel like I'm married though, I'll tell you why. I have a dog, it's a beagle, yeah. Yeah, it has those sad eyes, so. So even though I don't have a wife, I do live with somebody who always looks at me like they're disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but, yeah. But never tells me why. <laughs> and we don't have sex anymore, you know? It's just the worst, the spark is gone. Some of these are just jokes. I've, I've never been to Yankee Candle. I've, uh, I've been to Kmart. Have you ever been inside that place? Yeah, it's like, it's like Target with AIDS. It's the worst, it's just, I'm sorry, there's not a better way to say that. I tried. Like, yeah. Picture Walmart if they sold their floor buffer for drug money. I just... I read recently because the economy, Kmart was in danger of going out of business and that blew me away because if you've been inside a Kmart, looks like they went out of business 15 fucking years ago. There's nobody... Nobody's in there, nobody works there. Yeah. All they have is old shit like half-eaten bags of Cheetos with clips on them. And then there's... Movies like Rambo 2 on VHS. They're... The slogan ought to be Kmart. We've given up as much as the people who shop here. I'm... No, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't feel like a shopper when I'm in there. I feel like an archeologist, you know, like I'm exploring ruins. <laughs> Honey, it's a box of Crystal Pepsi. What a find. Hey, we should get a case of this. Yeah, there's a coupon for a free Ace of Base cassette. It says it's redeemable at Circuit City. Because none of those things are around anymore. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You guys are a nice audience. Uh, I'm a bit of a different guy. I'm, I'm, I'm bad with women. It's not that I'm a bad looking guy. 
I think I'm, I'm a good looking guy. I just have dark circles around my eyes. I'm extremely pale. So I look like a good looking guy. Just a good looking guy who died two hours ago. <laughs> uh, I like when people laugh even though it hurts my feelings. That's <laughs> Very, yeah. Just, uh, very shy. I was diagnosed with uh, Asperger's syndrome when I was a little kid. You guys heard of this? Yeah. Defined by a few distinct criteria like poor eye contact, there's a lack of empathy, which I don't really give a shit about. There's intense focus, extremely narrow interest. The doctor said I'd do well in school if they got me focused on learning. That would have worked in theory, but my parents were never able to find a school where I could major in WWF with a minor in Ninja Turtles. That's, that's a shame. I could have graduated Soma Cowabunga, which would have been. I'm a comedian with Asperger's. It's hard. I recently did a college showcase where my agent said to me beforehand, you need to talk about your Asperger's on stage to make yourself stand out from the other comedians who are going to be there. I'm like, really think that's such a good idea? He's basically saying, hey, you know that thing that you and 92% of mass shooters also have? <laughs> you should talk about it so you get invited to colleges. Thank you. Sorry. So anyway, uh, I saw a fat guy today because I live in America and I was outside with my eyes open. It, uh, yeah. He had a WWJD bracelet on and was like, yeah, I was like, what would Jesus do? I'm like, I don't know, crunches? Uh, have a healthy piece of fish, share it with everybody. That was my... Recollection, really good book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm religious, but I'm not homophobic. Uh, I'm Catholic, but I'm open-minded. You know, as far as I'm concerned, whatever you do in your bedroom is fine, as long as you're ashamed of it. That's <laughs> none of my business. It's between you and the devil. I don't know. I feel gay sometimes. Like, uh, let me explain. I, I like women. I just don't watch sports. When you tell, yeah, when you tell other guys you don't watch sports, they look at you like you took a dick out of your mouth to say it. It's like, yeah. Look at you like they just saw the village people use you like a surge protector. It's just, hey, who do you think's gonna be in the Super Bowl this year? I don't know, I'm not really a big football fan, you know? I'm not a big football fan. I'd rather watch a movie, maybe read a good book. I really think, Athletes are just kind of crybabies with bad attitudes. Really think we ought to take all that money they make and give it to our teachers, you know, because those, they're the real heroes in our society. They're the ones who make all the difference. That's all I'm trying to say. Thank you guys so much. My name's Matt McCloud. That's my time. Uh, I'm on Facebook.